Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a quick and easy guide on how to get your favorite Apple Podcasts to MP3. Let's get started. First up, we've got the free podcast downloader, the fastest solution available. Download and launch the Citify podcast to MP3 downloader. Head to settings to choose where you want your podcast saved. Locate the podcast section, find the show you want, and click on its profile. Then select your desired episode and hit download. And further tap the add button to start the process. Watch as it downloads at an impressive 10x speed. Once done, your MP3 files will be ready for you. Next, let's look at iTunes, a straightforward method that's just one click away. Open iTunes on your computer and sign in with your Apple ID. Click on the Podcasts tab in the store. Select the podcast you want to download. To get individual episodes, simply hit the Get button. If the process is done, you can find your downloads in Library tab. Method 3. Web Page Source. Now, here's a nifty trick using the web page source. Open the Apple Podcasts web player in your browser and pick the show you want. Right click and choose View Page Source. Search for MP3 in the source code. Once you find the link, right click and copy link address. And paste the link address into a new tab. If it plays, right click on the dots and select download to download it to your local storage. For our fourth method, we'll use a free online tool, no downloads are required. Visit the Apple Podcast Downloader online. Find your episode in the Apple Podcasts app or website and copy its URL. Paste the URL into the Downloader tool. You'll need to enter your email to receive the MP3 file once it's ready. Check your inbox shortly after, and download the link provided. Finally, the Citify Apple Music Converter is great for converting to multiple audio formats. Launch the converter and click Add to load your podcast content from iTunes. Select the podcasts you wish to convert. Click on the settings icon to set the output format to MP3 and choose your output folder. Hit convert. and once it's finished, you can find your converted files in the converted section. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips and tricks.